Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. See me on the screen here. It's been a while since I've given an update on the Mobile Extreme Gaming Bus. But here it is. So this is what I do pretty much now for full-time job. Work a lot of Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. So that's why you don't see maybe as many streams for me on the channel as you've done if you've seen in the past because those would be key nights to get on streams but yeah this is what i do so i'm pretty much living the gamer's dream you know going around different people's houses different events bring the gaming bus make sure everyone's having a good time so right now i'm just updating the consoles on the bus. I have to do this pretty much weekly. Uh, today, spend a little bit more time doing it because of this game right here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Just bought it on this one Xbox. It was on sale. Uh, people f at the party tonight want to play it. And the Call of Duty uh, Warzone 2.0 hasn't been working so well on the consoles, but. So this is the inside of the bus back here. You see the uh, PS5 in the corner. Right now I just have Madden 23 demo screen on. There's an Xbox Series X in that corner, which you can't see. Uh, right on this TV here, we have uh, you know your Xbox One and then also Nintendo Switch we could put on this TV. Right here, just updating Xbox, PS4. And then a bunch more Xbox Ones. We just got this Nintendo Switch Lite. So we're going to put this down uh, on the seats here. And this is kind of like the Fortnite wall. Because that's the most popular game at the parties is Fortnite. And it's only a one player game. So it'll be good to get three Switches going on the one side with the seats. So more people could play Fortnite at once. They could connect in the same arena. So we do get some sports games being played on the bus. A lot of NBA 2K23, both in-game and playing on the street. And then uh, on this PS4, we got all the sports games, FIFA, NHL, Madden, and NBA 2K. So that makes this PS4 a little bit more attractive. We got a lot of Rocket League. Um, not too much retro. If we get any retro, it's on this TV here. A lot of times I used to put on NBA Jam. I'm going to show you what's on this one. If I get a chance to play at the parties, then it's usually on this first console here since it's the closest to the door. But yeah, I put like Crazy Taxi on there. Dreamcast Classic. Of course, the new GoldenEye 007 got released. The NBA Jam on Fire Edition. Used to put that on a lot. Got the Sonic 2 from Dreamcast. And I didn't put Tecmo Bowl Kickoff on this one. Or Throwback, rather. That one's on the outside TV. Used to play that a lot, uh... Doing some street marketing would just play outside the bus parked somewhere in the Chicagoland area. So yeah, this is the bus. We rent it out for parties. And our prices are pretty good for a birthday party for two hours. Monday through Thursday, it's $3.99. And then uh, Friday through Sunday, it's $4.99 for two hours. And then you could add time on from there. The VR is an extra add-on now, which is an extra $100. And we'll bring a second person to the party. So we have the Oculus headsets. They're completely portable. They're nice to have. And uh, yeah, we, we're running a Friday special, $5.99. You get three hours and the VR, so it's like $200 off. So that's a good one. And then we always do the Night Owl, which has not been booked out much the last year, which is 8 p.m. to midnight. And you get uh, you get four hours for 
so yeah spent a lot of time doing this it's it's fun i'm enjoying the experience i really appreciate uh sean and edie the owners for giving me this opportunity to run this business for them and we've been growing every every month uh right now it's end of february last year we had i want to say 10 parties in january and 10 in february this year we have 16 in january and 18 in february march already has 12 and we'll get more as the month goes on so been organically growing this business now for about a year and a half and it's like I said, it's been a great experience. So I'm going to show you the outside of the bus now. Because last time I did one of these, I showed the outside first. I think I lost some people. But yeah, here's the outside of the bus. So you got some pretty good graphics here. Mobile Extreme Gaming, 773MXG Game. Those of you from the Chicagoland area know all about 773. And let's see the back. We got the QR code so people can easily pull up the website. So it looks like I need to wipe the back with the towel before I go. And the other side of the bus pretty much has the same graphics. But yeah, it's a huge 40 foot bus, about 11 feet high. And then I'll show you the little office we have. Got the CRT set up with Tecmo Super Bowl. And this is where, you know, I put together some of the lanyards. Well, yeah, it's pretty much simple business. Lanyards, t-shirts. Uh, t-shirts we need to get in stock. I'll have to remind Edie about that. But, uh, yeah, I wish I could use this more. Usually here by myself. We did have the first year, like, two people at every party. And we would bring the VR, but uh, yeah, it was it was priced higher at five ninety nine entry. So we decided to change it up, and it's been going pretty well. It, the only thing is, I end up working a lot of these parties by myself, which is fine because there's always good people to hang out with and meet at these parties. Uh, but it is nice to have someone with, you know, just to change it up and have. Someone to talk with, with uh, some of the people. Some of the things to comment on that you see at parties. But yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any... Oh yeah, so the battery system, I don't have it all lit up now. But we have 10 batteries in here. And it's working really well. Like The first year the bus was kind of glitchy with some of the systems going off because the inverters were either messing up or there wasn't enough battery power in some of them so now with this i mean it's run through the 12 volt of the bus don't really even have to use the generator um through five six hours on a four party day i'm definitely probably still using the generator at the last one might even start using it on the third party just because I, I do see the voltage going down as uh, we start getting to like the five, six hour mark. But this has been huge to have this upgrade its system. And then I don't have the bus running right now or else this would be louder on the video. But there's a bunch of controllers in here. And this is where all our controllers and games are. Um, yeah, so there's an awning that comes out we put it out at some of the parties when we got room there's no pole in the way and then this back door opens to another tv it's got an xbox one wii u so we could do wii or wii u games and it's good for for movement being on the outside and uh you know we're getting closer to that season where most of the parties we're going to be using that outdoor tv which we haven't been using as much through this winter even though it's been pretty mild in Chicago not bad maybe I drove one day that was pretty rough through the snow it was a 15 hour Saturday three parties but uh 
yeah, I made it through, and uh, we're moving on to the next weekend. But yeah, I just wanted to recap and show people. Oh, let me show you the ceiling of the Mobile Extreme Gaming Bus. There's all these graphics of different game covers. And then the top is all matrixed out with ones and zeros and then the MXG logo. So yeah, it's a good experience. Every time we go to a party, it's a hit. I don't think I've ever had anyone complain about the bus itself. Maybe sometimes not having a certain game on a console, but that really hasn't happened since like my very first party where one of the moms wanted Fortnite on the very back TV, which is understandable, but on this back TV, we try to get four players going because there's so much room back here. So we try to keep it multiplayer, but ultimately if the birthday boy or girl wants to play Fortnite on the back TV, then that's what we'll do for them. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. Taking a look at the Mobile Extreme Gaming Bus. I'll post the link in the description just in case anyone's interested, but we are in the Chicagoland area, so that's all we service. Just keep that in mind, but... Anyways, thank you for watching and subscribing to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. And uh, we'll see you soon with some more Retro Sports Games. Take care.